Assalamu alaikum family. Tim Muhammad coming again with another video. Thank you guys for all the support that y'all been giving. Please like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. It means a lot to me. Check it out. Let's get into today's video. You see the title. We're talking about Malcolm X versus Minister Louis Farrakhan. Let's talk about it. One thing that I noticed people who disagree with the nation of Islam, anything that the ministers say, the teachings from the messenger, and when I say the messenger, for those who don't know, I'm speaking of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, the messenger who was raised and taught by Allah himself who came in person of Master Farah Muhammad. But anybody who has an issue with the nation of Islam, what they like to do is they try to go back and dig up Malcolm, right? Let's talk about the Malcolmites out there. Please like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. We're talking about the Malcolmites out there. What is a Malcolmite? The Malcolmite is the person, when they don't have a rebuttal to fight or defeat anything that the Nation of Islam say, they try to bring up Nation of Islam to factors and the biggest fame and probably the most famous one ever is Malcolm X, right? A lot of us got our history from Malcolm X from the movie that Spike Lee produced and made starring our brother Denzel Washington. Shout out to brother Denzel Washington, right? That's where we get our history of the nation of Islam and Malcolm X from, right? Think about that. That's where we get our history of the Nation of Islam and Malcolm X from a fictional movie. I'm not saying the whole movie was fictional, but what other movie that's not in the documentary form that we would take as pure history? But we take that type of stuff. They give us that type of stuff because they know we will suck that type of stuff up, you know. And shout out to Brother Denzel Washington. He did a great job playing playing Malcolm. But most of us. I know when I watched the movie when I was a young boy, I liked the Malcolm better when he was with the Nation of Islam up in the movie. When he left the nation, I'm like, hell no, I like the tough guy Malcolm. This kind of Malcolm kind of milk toast a little bit with the beard and all that. No, give me the smooth face, fruit of Islam, Malcolm X, right? But let's talk about how the Malcolmites, the people who don't like the Nation of Islam, they don't really follow any of the teachings that Malcolm X said, but they like to bring up Malcolm to try to fight off any any advancements you try to make towards your people and raising up their consciousness, right, by bringing up Malcolm X. The first thing they say is what? Say it, y'all. The first thing they say is what? They say, y'all kill Malcolm. Y'all kill Malcolm. That's some Negro shit. That's some nigga shit, right? That's some shit that you can find the truth if you really want it, but you don't want the truth, right? With all the Googles and YouTube and that we can do, it's pretty damn near a known fact that the FBI, through COINTELPRO, had Malcolm X killed, right? They set the whole thing up. I ain't going to say no names. Use your Googles, because if you really want to know the truth, you can find out the truth, like we can find out the truth about anything that we really want to. But these so-called Malcolmites, please like and subscribe, y'all. I really appreciate the love. Like and subscribe. But these Malcolmites, right, when you bring up the minister, when you bring up the Nation of Islam, they want to throw shade at the minister. They want to try to say, what has he done? Where is he at? What is he giving the people? He's not here to be another source of welfare for y'all. He's not here to give y'all land, to give y'all free money, to give y'all free food. What he giving you is more is more valuable to him than any than any of that. He's giving you knowledge yourself, giving you the right and the mind to dig yourself up out the grave so you can stop begging other races to do something for you. You can get up and do something for yourself, right? Shout out to the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. That is my father. You know, he's not my biological father. He's the father of my thinking now. He's the father of 
lifted me up from being a Negro, a nigga, a fool, a plaything for white folks, walking around with names that didn't belong to us. He the one who lifted me up and made me who I am right now or making me into who I'm going to be, right? You know, so shout out again to the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. I love this brother so much. He's meant so much to me and my family, you know. You know, but I'm going to leave the video there, you know. And we're going to talk a story about how I became who I am. We're going to talk about Sharks on 76 and Silver Spring. Shout out to Sharks on 76 and Silver Spring. Something happened to me on Sharks on 76 and Silver Spring that changed my whole life. You know, um, so I'm going to leave it there. Thank you all for who have subscribed. Thank you all for your views. Thank you all for just your attention. May Allah continue to keep you and your family safe. I thank Allah for raising up and giving us the honorable Elijah Muhammad. And may you and your family be safe. Love.